Now that we are joined by editor of Beauty EQ, Trudy Brewer, and this morning we're talking about sensitive skin. Morning, Trudy. Morning. How First, are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yes. First up, what does sensitive skin actually mean? What are we talking about when we say sensitive skin? I guess anybody that feels that when they put something on their skin, they might get a burning sensation or it might just look a little bit inflamed or red or flaky or dry or just not quite right. That's probably what you would term sensitive. Okay, so how many women suffer from sensitive skin? Well, it's interesting. I did a bit of research, actually, and I went on the dermatologist. Um, dermatologist site Dermnet which is brilliant as a resource mm. for looking for information on skin and they reckon about 50% of New Zealand women suffer wow. with sensitive skin so that might not be all the time but that's from research that they've done and only 40% of men so um, that's quite significant when you think that you're dealing with half of the people you know could yeah. have sensitive skin. At some stage have something going on yeah, with your skin. That's right. What about the seasoned weather does that make a difference do you think? It's temperature extreme so really hot and really cold I think that's when we find our skin is probably the most compromised. Um, winter, obviously, wind, cold, you know, um, then you're going in and out of air conditioning, mm. heating, that can actually have a real effect on skin. And the sun, you know, the sun can really impair the skin's barrier. Yeah. Once the sun hits your skin, it can get slightly inflamed, slightly red, and that's when the problems can start. So temperature yeah. extremes, really. Okay, which I had in Vietnam. You I haven't did. talked to you about that yet. I'll bore you about that later. Oh, you I've bored everyone else about that for days and, and days glowy, and days. I must say. Thank you, that'll wear off soon. Holiday glow. Um, so how do you know if your skin is sensitive? Okay, well, I guess the first thing is that it will look a little bit different. It might look more red than normal. Um, a lots of dry flakingness because the top layer of the skin will be compromised and starting to flake off. Um, it could be something as mild as that or burning and stinging when you put on a face cream or use a makeup product. You mm. might find that it feels a little bit sensitive and stingy. Um, or it could be to the extreme where it could be eczema or rosacea and you could end up with kind of like an acne rash. And a lot of women think they've got acne and they get acne products which actually make the sensitivity even worse. Okay. So it's worth having a biopsy, going to a dermatologist and getting it tested and finding out what really is going on. What about lifestyle and diet that contributes a bit? I think lifestyle can, you know, um, very hot temperatures like at this time of the year everybody's jumping in hot showers, hot baths, yeah, hot spas lovely. because it's lovely <laughs> but it actually does can make your skin more sensitive. Spicy food isn't great for anyone who has sensitive skin. Anything that heats your skin up can actually accentuate the problem. So how do you go about treating it then? With lots of love and care, you know, choosing the right ingredients for a start, what you put on your skin. Um, it's interesting that the skin and lungs are sister organs, so anyone with any asthma or sort of respiratory problems can often have sensitive skin as well, so that's something you need to look into. Um, and just really making sure you understand what you're putting on your skin. Look at the ingredients list, ask your pharmacist, ask your beauty, beauty advisor, mm. get online and do a little bit of research and find out what it is. Do some research, now you've brought some, some things research. in today, let's talk about these. Starts with cleansing actually. What you cleanse your skin with sets it up to whether or not it's going to be sensitive. And your skin needs to stay at a balanced sort of pH of 5.5 and most soaps are alkaline at about 10, the pH of 10. So that means washing your face with soap is not a good idea. Washing your face with soap is not a great idea if it's sensitive. So stick with something that's soap free and I bought in um, Sebamed is a brilliant brand. It doesn't look sexy but it's amazing. Sometimes it's one of those hard don't. working products, really simple. That's great for your shower. Okay. Um, the other one from Avene. Avene is a beautiful French brand, which we have talked about before on the show. Mm. It's such a lovely, soothing brand, and they really own the sensitive category. Um, Cleanance is a great product for anyone who may suffer with acne as well. And I bought that in because a lot of people can have acne and sensitivity at the same time. Yes. Great shower product. Um, and a gorgeous night cream. So. At night time, it's a quite a good time to really treat your skin to some TLC. Just put something on it that's quite heavy and rich, but not full of ingredients that are going to um, flare up that sensitivity. Um, and that's a beautiful skin recovery cream. I often use that like a mask, put it on quite thickly and just go to bed and leave it on and it's... Fabulous. Okay, that. might as well make it do double duty at night time. Now, what um, about this one here? I love the Clarins boosters. They're not designed to be on their, used on their own. You actually mix them with your own moisturiser, which is great because your skin changes month to month, sometimes week to week, season to season. Day you to can day. add a few <laughs> drops of that into your regular moisture uh, moisturiser, and the calming ingredients in it will just actually help your moisturiser be a little bit extra calm. I took that one on holiday with me actually. I thought I needed a bit of a Yeah, boost and it's and a great for for holiday skin, like when you're away, different temperatures, climates, but food. This one sounds like it's great to be back. Stress check face oil. Stress check face oil. This is a brand called This Works. It's a really sexy little brand. It's available at Mecca. Um I'm a big fan of face oils, as you know, because oil know. 
is, has got a natural affinity with our skin. That is full of vitamin C and chamomile and vitamin E, just a few drops at night time. It just makes your skin Ooh. feel gorgeous. Soothing, repairing, um, just nourishing as well. I and think. it as smells. You, get older, you need a little bit more moisture. It smells, you certainly um, do. Yeah, so, I mean, there's plenty on offer. It's just a matter of doing a little bit of research and finding out what's going to work best for you. Excellent, Trudy Brewer, thank you so much. Always Pleasure. great having you on Pleasure. the show. Thank now, for you. more of Trudy's tips, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.